Well, he's no stranger to the discomfort in the water, but Bondi lifeguard Ryan Whippet Clark's days are full of wild ways, wild animals, and more often than not, some wild humans. But he's about to take on what could be his toughest challenge yet in the ocean. We're used to seeing him on the warm, beautiful beach in Bondi. But soon, Whippet will be plunged into unknown waters, preparing to swim the English Channel. A bit nervous, a bit cold, but a bit excited. I'm looking forward to getting it done. It's a treacherous journey from England to France, freezing temperatures, rough waters and a distance of, get this, up to 45 kilometres. Hours and hours testing his physical and mental limits, all for a good cause. Whippet's hoping to raise $100,000 for Ocean Heroes, helping people on the autism spectrum build confidence through surfing. And we're very happy to say Whippet joins us now yeah. from Bondi Beach in Sydney. Get him, mate. Morning, guys. How are you? Good to see you. So, look, you know, the English Channel, it ain't no Bondi. You're up no. for it? <laughs> Nah, well, I hope I'm up for it. Um, I head off in a couple of weeks and it's definitely going to be a big challenge, but judging by the summer that they've had over there so far, it should be hopefully warmer than it is down here this morning. <laughs> yeah, you'll feel right at home. I mean, it is such a tough swim. Ali just laid it out. The distance changes, the time changes, huge tides. How have you been preparing? Yeah, it's, it is a big challenge and it's, um, it's going to be a long day in the water no matter what. Um, so preparation's been sort of the last 12 to 18 months. Uh, a lot of swimming, both in the ocean and in the pool. Um, you know, a bit of weight training and core training and then also a lot of eating, trying to put on a bit of weight to get over um, over there as big as I can to help with the warmth and a bit of flotation. See, I've been watching um, all the videos of you, um, of you training of late and I've just got this thing of, you know, it's the middle of winter, the rest of us are wearing our uggies and we're in front of the fire, watching the Today Show, obviously. Clearly. And you're out in the water and there's, like a, there's a whole breed of people that swim in the middle of winter that I just, I don't understand. <laughs> can you just, can you give me a bit of insight into that? I didn't fully understand it until I started <laughs> training for the English Channel either, why you'd want to get down there early in the morning. But, you know, it, it's beautiful. The winter, it is it is cold, but it's refreshing and it's it's probably the best way you can start your day. So for me, the training's been, yeah, it's long and it's hard, but it's also rewarding. And, I mean, when you look out there and it's a sunny day and you're swimming around the headlands, there's sort of no better place to be, really. And, I mean, this is all being done for a great cause. Can you tell us about that? So Ocean Heroes is a, it was formed by a group of guys over in Western Australia about six years ago. Uh, and the boys over there wanted to be able to give kids living with autism and their families the experience to be able to build confidence and to learn how to surf in a safe and inclusive environment. Um, so they've been doing it over there and, and our goal is to raise $100,000 um, so that we can set up an arm of Ocean Heroes on the East Coast and, uh, and be able to provide kids on the autism spectrum the ability to get in the ocean on a regular basis. Oh, good, good on you, mate. When do you actually jump on a flight and head over there? Uh, so I leave in two weeks, just over two weeks. Uh, hopefully I'll be swimming about a week after I get there. All going well with the weather and the tides. And, um, yeah, it should be done in a few weeks. All right, well, you've been talking the talk this morning, mate. How about we walk the walk and <laughs> uh, there's, a, there's a big ocean there behind you. Go take a dip. You could swim from there to Melbourne and really test yourself. It yeah, is. come on, get in there. You know what, I, have, I do need to... Do need to get as much training as possible, so I brought the goggles down. And, oh, good. Uh, I'll be able to jump in and have a bit of a dip. Off so you go. I'll, uh, I expect you to be joining me next winter, though, Ali. Next winter? Oh, I've got this dodgy knee, right? And, um, Ali, and was, the Ali was saying in the ad break she thinks she could do it. So if you can, can get her into the water... <laughs> I reckon, uh, I reckon she'd be a good chance. She's pretty tough, Ali, so I reckon we get her in training and, and give it a crack. All right, I'm going to commit to that next winter. Off you go. Go for a bit of a swim. Tell us how cold the water is and good luck uh, right. when you get over there. See you guys. Thanks for the support. See good stuff. It. Just stay with him here yeah, while he goes. Yeah, hold this. Yeah, just prove that he's actually uh, going to do it. But he's been... Uh, <laughs> he's had his three kids out with him, the boys out with him while he's been training in Sydney Harbour. Off he goes. Talk about going to work Mind with the Dad. Sharks. That's a tough, a tough <laughs> equation, isn't it? Oh, well, they've been in the boat and the kayak. Ah, you know, right. no, no, no. I mean, it's still a I tough I think his baby's like nine months old or something.
<laughs> not even. He's young these days. Yeah, that's true. In he goes. You keep yeah. going. <laughs> yeah, still camera's still on you, mate. <laughs> All right, we'll check back in with him later. But that is a great cause that uh, he's heading over there to do. We wish him all the oh. very, very best. And if you want to support Whippet Swim, you can head to the link in his Instagram bio at Whippet underscore. And, I mean, the water's not even that cold. Safer in your uggies. Yeah. <laughs> that cold, it's July. <laughs>